What's up everyone? Um, just want to make a video talking about like genetics and stuff like that and how much of a role it really plays. Um, obviously everyone's going to say I have good genetics. I'm not going to say I don't. What I will tell you is I had no fucking clue for like the first couple years of my training. I started off benching 105 pounds as a max. That wasn't my first workout. That was like my fourth workout. That was the first time I was comfortable with maxing. I started off benching 65 pounds for reps. And you're probably wondering, I must have been like really small when I started, right? To be so weak. I must have been like 8 years old and weighed like 80 pounds, right? No, I was 14 years old and I was 215 pounds. And I could not max bench 115 because I tried it and I failed. Genetics do not determine where you begin. You know what I mean? They determine where you can go with, with effort. And more than that, more than that, what actually matters is not just, oh, my genetics allowed me to get here, so I did, because there are a shit ton of people with great genetics. There are a lot of people with great genetics. I can't tell you how many people in high school didn't try as hard as me and were as strong as me, if not stronger, right up until I kept fucking killing it all the time when they would stop and I got stronger than them. Genetics are not the main factor in what makes gains. I'm telling you right now. I know a group of people. I actually know a number of groups of people, families of people, the Lily Bridges, uh, the Urbanks. They clearly must have good genetics, right? But what you don't know about them, if you don't know them very well, is that their knowledge and their belief in themselves is far greater than what they would have been born with. Um, for example, uh, uh, the Urbanks. My, my girlfriend is a Tessa Urbank. She's the brother of, um, or excuse me, the, the sister of Vince Urbank, who uh, has the American deadlift record, 906. Now, obviously, the first thing I thought when I saw Vince is like, incredible genetics. He's like fucking 6'5", like 3'10". Everything must be easy for this guy. Absolutely fucking not. Works very hard. Eats fucking 600 grams of protein a day and shit. So I'm like, okay, well, he just works very hard and has, and has good genetics, so that's how we could do this. But then I met his sister. And I met his other brother who didn't even work out at the time. Um, his sister clearly must have good genetics too, right? Um, my girlfriend. But what you don't know about her is how fucking upset she gets if she doesn't make gains. Is, is how much it affects her if she isn't doing what it takes to get bigger and stronger and leaner and stuff like that. These, these families, they have... That, that do well together, you, they're easier to study because you can look at them and see what they all have. They have extreme belief in themselves, extreme desire to succeed, and extreme work ethic. I've never seen people work so hard. And I'll give you another example. Um, Albert Urbank, uh, uh, my girlfriend's um, other brother, uh, to Vince, he had not worked out. He'd worked out like for like a month or so. Um, and I, you know, we started like hanging out and shit, and I, you know, we talked about training, and he talked about training with Tess and Vince and stuff like that. And he started bulking and strength training and stuff like that. And mind you, he's about 6'3", and he was underfed and stuff like that for sure. He started off at 185 pounds. 185 fucking pounds at 6'3". The brother of a 900-pound deadlifter and a girl who squats like 350 at 20 years old. This is their brother. Great genetics. To, you can tell, right? You can tell that those are great genetics to weigh 185, right? The, what, here's what happened, though. I watched him from day one. From day one, as soon as he started training, make absolutely no excuses do exactly what it took with training, even more so going above and beyond. And I watched him eat like you wouldn't fucking believe. And I don't just mean eat bullshit hamburgers and shit. I mean fucking like chicken and rice four or five times a day. Like fucking lots of food. Lots of clean, healthy, good food. I watch him eat a cup of peanut butter at night with milk before bed. Just about every fucking night. I watch this person from day one outwork other people. I watch this person from day one want results more than other people. From day one expect results, desire results, believe in himself because he saw his, his brother and his sister do well and obviously he was hanging out with me and I, you know, I'm going to tell anyone that they can make better progress. I'm going to tell anyone they can do better because they can. So I watched someone who never worked out, who supposedly has great genetics, start from looking like he had no genetics whatsoever, shit genetics, mind you, with a 315 pound fucking deadlift. He missed a 315 deadlift. He couldn't lock out a 315 deadlift the first workout he tried. And in four months, he had gained 80 fucking pounds naturally. And gotten his pull up to like 550 or something like that right now. He's been training for four months. So you can say that's genetics, but I fucking watched him outwork everyone. I watched him outwork me. I watched him fucking like be excited for workouts and do 20, 30 sets. Fucking ask me all the time what is best. Not what is easiest or what will be good enough. What is best to do. 
And he fucking did it with food, with diet, with rest, with training, with recovery. He sat, he dwelled on it all the fucking time. I watch people succeed through effort, through willpower, through believing in themselves. Not from being born special. People are born special and don't do shit with it all the fucking time. The best baseball player to ever live probably didn't play fucking baseball, but he fucking should have. Because I bet you that motherfucker would have hit a baseball. Fucking awesome if he tried, man. His hand-eye coordination and swing abilities were probably the shit. But I bet you he did not play baseball. I bet you he didn't have passion for baseball if he did play it. Because fucking it just wasn't there for him. Genetics are not the key factor. It's knowledge, work ethic, and fucking willpower, drive, believing in yourself. That is what fucking matters, people. I'll tell you right now. I knew I was going to be really fucking strong when I was 15 years old. Way before I was strong. Way before I was strong, I knew I was going to be really strong. I didn't have any reason to believe that other than, like, my dad encouraging me. You know what I mean? Other than, like, wanting to be. Because I believe deep down, if I outworked other people, if I try harder, if I focus more on my program, if I focus more on my diet, that I could not be held back. And I did that because I didn't understand at the time, when I was a teenager getting really strong, I didn't understand that people took drugs all year. I didn't think I even needed to do drugs to compete with anyone. And because I didn't know my own limitations, I fucking set my limitations much higher than everyone else. And I've watched other people do the same. I've watched the Lily Bridges do shit that you wouldn't think is fucking possible because they talk about it like, for sure, oh, it's for fucking sure, it's gonna happen. They believe it, for sure. They write out their training ahead of time, far ahead of time, because they already know what they're gonna be able to lift. They're sure of it. They're sure of themselves. And that brings about something to them. That's the law of attraction right there. That brings to them what they desire. They believe in themselves. They know what it takes. They're going to work for it. They know they will work for it and do what it takes. And so it comes to them. And that's what's important. It's not where you start or the results you've been getting. It's the results you could get if your training, diet, work ethic, and belief in yourself was right. I just wanted to cover that. I'm so fucking sick of people talking about how terrible the ge their genetics are. Bullshit, man. Your genetics are not fucking bad. Okay? You want to tell me if genetics are bad? Take the same drugs that some people take, eat the same way that some people eat, train the same way that some people train, and think about that shit all fucking day like your fucking life depends on it. And then, on top of that, believe in yourself and show me you failing. Don't show me you going, well, I can't, but I'll try. I'll fail, but I'll try anyways to prove, to prove you're wrong. I'll fail on purpose to show you that you're wrong. Bullshit. Just fucking, like, do it. Just actually fucking go through the steps, believe in yourself, and give it a fucking shot and see what you can do. Because you got a damn long life to live to work at these goals. So you can't start telling me that you can't do shit, okay? It's one thing to be born without the use of your legs. It's another thing to be born without the fucking ability to believe in yourself. You can change that shit. You can just fucking believe in yourself and do what it takes. And that's what I'm all about. I, I believe that's everything. I believe people's ability to believe in themselves is fucking everything. And if you don't believe in yourself, you won't do shit. If you do, you'll fucking try damn hard and come damn close. If you don't, chances are you'll fucking succeed if you believe. Um, so I just wanted to clear, clear that shit up, guys. I'm so sick of people talking about genetics. Bull fucking shit, your genetics are bad. My genetics were fucking terrible when I started, and I didn't start getting good results until I learned what the fuck I was doing. Okay? I watched, I watched Tessa get, my girlfriend, with great genetics, get very poor results when trying to follow a program given to her by her fucking old school or some shit with a bunch of fucking retarded powerlifting coaches that can't even bench their body weight. They're like 400 pound coaches that bench like 400 in a shirt. No shit if you follow their programming, you're gonna get shit results. You know what I mean? It's, it was only whenever she started to believe in herself and believe what she was capable of after seeing some of the progress that she could make by pushing herself to that degree that she realized what she was capable of. And when people realize what they're capable of, the whole fucking world opens up to you. The whole world opens up to you and what you can do. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. More videos to come and uh, more diet progress and training videos and shit like that. Shut up!